What's up, everybody? As you all know, it's your boy, Forex Hawk, and we're back again with another video continuing the candlestick trading Bible review. And we're going to talk about the gravestone doji. That's the first candlestick pattern we'll be reviewing in this video. The gravestone doji is the bearish version of the dragonfly doji. It is formed when the open and close are the same or about the same price. What differentiates the, the gravestone doji from the dragonfly doji is the long upper tail. The formation of the long upper tail is an indication that the market is testing a powerful supply or resistance level or area. The illustration below shows for a dragonfly doji we have a long lower tail. In this illustration, we have a long upper tail where the tail is at least three or four times the size of the real body. And you already know the real body is right here, the open to the close. And this real body can jump into the tail at least four times or more. So, the image above illustrates a perfect gravestone doji. This pattern indicates that while buyers are able to push price well above the open, later in the day or in that same time frame, sellers overwhelm the market, pushing the price back down. This is interpreted as a sign that bulls are losing their momentum and the market is ready for a reversal illustration shown below so right here we have an option where we have impulse move or retracement and we break and close above that retracement that indicates that we're in an option in further videos i will show you what i mean by impulse move retracement and then break and close above above sorry i call that the one two three move so right here we have an option and then here comes a gravestone doji showing us that buyers carry the market all the way up to this high. However, in the same time frame, sellers carry the market back down to where it open or close. That shows you that buyers were up, but then they lose momentum and sellers close the market back down. So right here, this is a reversal signal and here, we have a reversal afterwards or shortly afterwards. The chart above shows a gravestone doji at the top of an option. After a period of strong bullish activity, the formation of this candlestick pattern indicates that buyers are no longer in control of the market. For this pattern to be reliable, it must occur near a resistance area. As a trader, you will need additional information about the placement and context of the gravestone doji to interpret the signal effectively. This is what I will teach you in the next chapter. So right here we have another candlestick pattern which is known as the morning star. The previous candlestick patterns that we look at had to deal with two candlesticks in the pattern. However, the morning star now has three. So we're not only looking at two again for engulf bars and one for like shooting star and hammers, but now we're looking at three candles to form the morning star. And right here, the morning star consists of a bearish candle pushing down, a small bearish candle again, and then a bullish candle pushing upwards. So this three candle combined is what we call the morning star. The morning star pattern is considered as a bullish reversal pattern. It often occurs at the bottom of a downtrend and it consists of three candlesticks as I said a while ago. The first candlestick is bearish which indicates that sellers are still in charge of the market the second candle is a small one which represents that sellers are in control 
but they don't push the market much lower and this candle can be bullish or bearish so what that means the candle in between of the bearish and bullish can be either of the candle it doesn't matter so although this is a morning star this candle doesn't have to be bearish it could be a bullish candle as well the most important thing is that these two candles the two end candles are opposing are opposite candles so right here we continue right here the third candle is a bullish candlestick that gapped up on the open and closed above the midpoint of the body of the first day or the first candle this candlestick hole a significant universal signal the morning star shows us or buyers to control of the market from sellers when this pattern occurs at the bottom of a downtrend near a support level it is interpreted as a powerful universal signal right here have a downward movement coming down have a bearish candle have a small bullish another bullish and then this pattern is what we call a morning star universal the chart above help us identify the morning star pattern and how it is significant when it is formed at the bottom of a downtrend as you can see the pattern occurred at an obvious bearish trend the first candle confirmed the seller's domination and the second one produced indecision in the market the second candle could be a doji or any other candle but here the doji candle indicate that sellers are struggling to push the market lower the third bullish candle indicates that buyers took control from sellers and the market is likely to reverse this is how professional traders analyze the market based on candlestick patterns and this is how you will analyze financial market if you can master the autonomy of candlestick patterns and the psychology behind their formations the evening star pattern as you guys probably guess is the opposite of the morning star the evening star is considered as the bearish reversal pattern that usually occurs at the top of an option the pattern consists of three candlesticks just like the, the morning star the first candlestick is bearish in this case not bullish sorry in this case not bearish the second candle is a small candlestick it can be bullish or bearish or it can be a doji or any other candlestick the third candle is a large bearish candle in general the evening star pattern is the bearish version of the morning star pattern the illustration below shows that right here we have a bullish candle right here we have a small bearish and then we have another bearish as you guys heard this candle can either be bearish bullish or a doji it doesn't really matter the first part of an evening star is a bullish candle this means that bulls are still pushing the market higher right now everything is going all right the formation of the small smaller body shows that buyers are still in control but they are not as powerful as they were the third bearish candle indicates that the buyer's domination is over and a possible bearish trend reversal is likely to happen see another chart that illustrates how the even star could represent a significant trend reversal signal right here we have an option followed by an even star 
and then we can see that sellers take control of the market over buyers and we get a trend reversal as you can see the market was trending up the first candle in the pattern indicates a long move up the second one is a short candle indicating price consolidation and indecision in other words the trend that created the first long bullish candlestick is losing momentum the final candle gapping lower than the previous candlestick indicating a confirmation of the reversal and the beginning of a new downtrend or trending down the hammer the hammer is the last candlestick pattern that we'll be looking on today and the hammer also known as pin bar the hammer is created when the open high and close are roughly the same price it is also categorized by a long lower shadow or wick or tail that indicates a bullish rejection from buyers and their intention to push the market higher right here we have an illustration of the pin bar or the hammer candle where we have a long lower tail the body close above the body can drop in the tail at least two to three times the hammer is a reversal candlestick pattern when it occurs at the bottom of a downtrend this candle forms when sellers push the market lower after the open but they get rejection by buyers so the market closes higher than the lowest price this is the lowest price we get rejection from buyers and the market closed well above where it went at the lowest price as you can see the market was trending down the formation of the armor or pin bar was a significant reversal pattern the long shadow represent the high buying pressure from this point sellers was trying to push the market lower but in that level the buying power was more powerful than the selling pressure which result in a trend reversal the most important to understand is the psychology behind the formation of this pattern if you can understand how and why it was created you will be able to predict the market direction with high accuracy we will talk about how to trade this pattern and how to filter the signal in the next chapter so this is the end of the video i hope this video was interesting exciting and you guys tune in to the end learn and just do your back testing do your studying go in the markets look in the markets for the signals for the indication for the candlestick pattern that i talked about learn them get familiar with it and just good luck on your trading journey it's your boy forex hawk here and we're out